It's a new month, and a new month means a new event in Red Dead Online. And this month's main theme would be the Moonshiner roll. Before we get into this though, I just want to put out a quick channel announcement. The members and I have been putting together an idea of traveling down to Mexico and doing a little riding over the week with one or two other little events planned as well. If you'd like to possibly join us on PlayStation 4, I will put a temporary link in the Discord uh, so you can join that and stay up to date on what's going to happen. And you'll also see an event poster kind of like this appear on my community tab on the YouTube channel. So definitely sub up as well if you are interested in that. So as I said, this month is an actual Moonshiner themed month and you're getting 20% off the Moonshine Shack, which is essentially 5 gold bars off it, making it 20 gold bars. There is also double cash and XP on all Moonshiner sales for the whole month of June. And you're also going to get triple cash and XP off all Moonshiner story missions as well this month. If you're a new player hoping to dip your foot into the waters of the Moonshiner role, I have a very in-depth video for you that will tell you absolutely everything you need to know and how to make the most money as quickly and as efficiently as possible. I'll leave a link here as well as in the description. There is also double cash, XP and gold on all blood money contracts this month. So definitely if you're a new player, I'd be concentrating on these because it's free to start and you're going to get double gold on them for this month. There's also a higher chance of looting some capitale if you are in need of some of that. There is also 50% bonus on both free roam missions that will happen in free roam as well as the events that you can join. Might be worth doing an odd free roam mission now and again so if you're waiting for your moonshine shack to build up. There's also double XP on the featured series which I almost just didn't bother even <laughs> include because it's like who cares about XP. But there it is. There are four limited time clothing items returning this month. The first being the plaid cap. This will come in eight different styles that you can choose from and it'll cost you around $60 to get each of those variants. The next item that is returning is the Caro jacket, which will be perfect for our Mexican trip down across the border. And this will come in 10 different styles for you to choose from, which varies in price. Some will cost you about 150 cash, others will cost you uh, 6 gold, so choose wisely. The Carver pants are also making a limited time return to online, and you will have 10 different styles to choose from with these they will all cost you around 58 dollars the final item that is returning is the strict land boots these are actually pretty cool and they will come in 14 different styles from you to choose from these are kind of expensive and will run you back either three gold bars or four gold bars depending on the style or variant that you want to choose but definitely worth having a peruse through the community outfit that is free this month is inspired by the redditor Tariki, but Rockstar has put a slightly different spin on it this time, making part of the outfit only available each week you log in, probably just trying to get people to log in each week. So from June 7th to the 13th, you will get the Drifter hat and the Narrow Neck Chief. From June 14th to the 20th, you'll get the French dress shirt for males and the Iniesta shirtwaist for females as well as the opulent vest. June 21st to June 27th, you'll get the tuxedo pants for the males and the macroom pants for the female characters. You'll also get yourself a pair of Preacher's Pride boots. The last few items you can get are from June 28th to July 4th and that will get you the shotgun coat and the embossed gunslinger gun belt. It is a cool outfit, so big credit that goes out there to Tariki over on Reddit for making this. It is a little sad though that even the smallest of good ideas that Rockstar have, they just feel the incentive to just divide it and break it up and spread it out as much as possible. It, it is just kind of annoying, but again, it is nice to get a free outfit for lower level characters. I will keep you posted each week on what is available, um, so definitely keep an eye on this channel. There's also some free items that you can unlock this month. Um, if you enter and win three matches of any of the feature series before July 4th, you will get a select colorway of the Gator Hat. 
Also, moonshiners who complete five sales throughout the course of any single week will receive a select colorway of the Manteca hat. Outlaws who complete two blood money crimes and two blood money opportunities in a single week will get a pair of Louis shoes in a select colorway. As mentioned, it's a moonshiner month, so you can get 40% off moonshine expansions if you own the shack. There's also 50% off relocation fees for your shack if you want to move it, and as well, you'll get 50% off select photos from the moonshine store. Moonshine decor can also be quite expensive, so if you want to see what you're getting before you purchase, I will leave a video uh, link up here as well as in the description so you can see all the different themes that you can buy before actually purchasing them. Moonshine outfits are also getting 30% off for the whole month of June. Over at the stables you will find that there is 30% off the Criollo horse breeds. You can also get 30% off the Gypsy Cobb horse breeds as well. I really like the Gypsy Cobb horse breed. It's not one you'd see a lot around online, but I do like it and I own one myself. The Sheffield outfit is also getting 75% off this month. Personally, I always purchase outfits from the catalog as I think there used to be a bug where if you purchase it from the tailor themselves, you won't be able to mix and match the items. So me personally, I would always suggest play it safe, order it from the portable catalog and then go into your wardrobe and when you select it, you will be able to kind of change the coat or the vest or the boots or whatever you want with it. Unfortunately, this doesn't actually work with the roll outfits, so I'm not sure if it was a bug or just a workaround, but either way, it's a good little tip for you. This month also sees 40% off all shirts, which includes blouses and corsets for females. You also get 40% off all vests as well for the month of June. There is 40% off the improved bow also this month too. There is also 30% off all mash prices this month to help lower the cost of making your shine. So each week for the month of June, there is a new featured series as well as an unlock or an incentive to log in, we'll say. So on June 7th to June 13th, the featured series will be the Hardcore series in New Austin. Also, if you destroy five revenue agent Roblox, you will receive a bonus of $100. From June 14th to June 20th, the feature series will be the Hardcore Pro Series. Also, if you complete the story mission, Destroyed by Grief, you will receive an offer for 5 gold bars off any Moonshine Bar Decor upgrade. From June 21st to June 27th, the Hardcore Public Enemy Series will be the one featured, and Moonshiners who have reached rank 20 and complete a Moonshine Sale that week will receive an offer of 40% off an established or distinguished moonshine roll item. From June 28th to July 4th, Hardcore Series in Saint Denis will be the featured series and moonshiners of rank 5 or higher will receive an offer of 40% off select coats. It's also worth noting that all the offers and rewards have now been removed. Who knows if we're ever gonna see any more. A few people might have been hoping we were going to see an update because they all expired for this month but unfortunately we haven't heard anything from Rockstar officially from that yet um, so who knows what's going to happen in the future of Red Dead Online. Again if you're interested in this little trip that we're going to be organizing to Mexico why not sign up into the discord so you can keep on track of how we are organizing it. I have an Xbox on loan so I might possibly do one on Xbox but don't hold me to that. As always, massive thanks to the members, really enjoying chatting away with you in the Discord as well. Uh, for any members who aren't aware yet, the Discord has a members VIP section and uh, we've been having a good bit of crack in there. So please, check it out. Alright people, as always, thanks for the support and I will catch you all in the next video.